Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here, and today I want to talk to you guys uh, about something that I'm predicting, or actually more worried about that's going to happen now that ketogenic diets are becoming very popular again. So let me put on my plus five head of weaponsmithing, work on skill in my crafting a little bit, and let's talk about this. Because people need to remember all these things in the training world, and even the bodybuilding world, they work in circles. They go in circles. Different training styles, different diet approaches come around about every five or ten years. Uh, and they become popular again and they fall back out of popularity and it's just like an ebb and flow of it, the same stuff over and over and over. Well a lot of people uh, who follow this have been inside this community less than a decade so they don't always know what the previous generations of people may have done or might have been really popular and uh, there's a couple of trends that are coming together now that I'm concerned about because I remember something that was extremely dangerous uh, that became pretty popular in training circles and like there were people on forums doing it and there were dozens of people experimenting with it, dozens of people um, who were doing this uh, and it's called the MKD, a modified ketogenic diet and essentially it worked off of two principles and one of them is being promoted again now number one that in ketosis your body burns body fat irrespective of calories so as long as you maintain a state of ketosis you will always be losing body fat no matter what else is going on in your body all right and we see uh, whatever that one guy I forgot his name I've done a couple videos on him Jason something uh, is promoting that very idea talking about he upped his calories like another 2,000 calories a day on a ketogenic diet lost body fat Hey, that sounds well and good. Now, we know that that's really not how it works. That even in ketosis, caloric surplus, you could actually gain body fat uh, even more quickly than on a higher carb diet. It just won't always be as much weight because you're not holding the extra water. Like when you increase carbs, you gain water weight. When you increase fat, you don't necessarily gain more water weight. When you increase uh, your intake by a lot of fat, you don't necessarily gain body weight either. So people on ketogenic diets, they tend to not get the extra bloating, but they will gain body fat in proportion to their caloric surplus because your body doesn't need insulin or any of that to store uh, extra fat. But this being promoted, Jason Whitrock, that's his name, he's promoting that. I've seen several other YouTubers, um, like that whole video with uh, the whole Connor Murphy thing. Um, I was surprised to see with that prank where the other guy got arrested, I was surprised to see that a, a channel with several hundred thousand subscribers is promoting using a ketogenic diet himself to cut. It's becoming more popular again. You're getting big circles of people who are promoting this idea that uh, ketogenic diets are the way to cut, the best way to do it, best way to get ripped. You combine that with the fact that drug abuse, uh, and, I, and I don't mean use, I mean abuse. And uh, I've always been outspoken publicly against abuse of anabolics. I don't care if people want to use them responsibly, but the abuse is the concern. And, and we're seeing it on a wide, wide scale. You're seeing younger and younger kids who don't even compete in anything mega dosing, uh, doses of gear you would expect someone to be using who's trying to get their pro card in bodybuilding or someone who's trying to go national or world level in powerlifting. We're seeing kids using those sort of doses, two grams, three grams. Uh, absurd amounts of doses and people are being more dangerous with stuff. Things like DNP are even becoming more popular being promoted. You're seeing all this dangerous stuff being promoted again. Well with the modified ketogenic diet it works off some principles there. The anabolic window and the fact that ketosis is where your body burns body fat. Well the anabolic window theory is always that you need carbs Fast absorbing carbs and fast absorbing protein immediately after you train. It has an anabolic effect. So the whole idea with the modified ketogenic diet, some guys had figured out years ago that you could get away with fast absorbing carbs and aminos if you consumed them in a short period of time and if they injected insulin with it. When they peed on keto sticks, they stayed in ketosis that the insulin, small amounts of insulin, they would sit around and calculate how much they need based upon the dextrose and the uh, amino acids and whey protein they were mixing together. They would estimate how much they need to keep from going into a hypoglycemic shock while still absorbing all of it quickly because it does. The, the insulin causes the blood sugar and aminos and everything to shuttle into muscle tissue and other tissues very, very fast. So they would use a small amount of fast acting insulin. It's a few units and it would keep them in ketosis so that post-workout they could go do a high volume training session on no carbs in ketosis post-workout they could pin right there in the gym 
and hit their aminos and their dextrose and they go home or whatever. And they would get uh, fulfill their anabolic window so that they could gain muscle and ketosis while another drug. And obviously, this is guys using all sorts of drugs. Um, but still gain muscle. They would gain muscle from the post-workout anabolic window. Now, this is, sounds good in theory to someone who uses a lot of drugs. Does anyone see the danger here? Anyone see the danger? You see how dangerous this is? Uh, this could kill you. Like this is the very sort of practice that could put someone into uh, like a diabetic coma, uh, hypoglycemic coma. You could have extreme hypoglycemia from this and it could kill you. Furthermore, it's based upon nothing. It's based upon absurd ideas like the importance of the anabolic window. Uh, and more importantly, it's based on the idea that being in ketosis all the time is the best way to lose body fat and not have to count calories. Um, and I remember this trend very clearly and a lot of guys were doing it on forums and other stuff, you know, 15 years ago. 16 years ago, stuff like that, right? Guys were doing this stuff. And it was getting really popular. And I think it kind of tapered off and certain guys were passing out in comas and everything and they kind of quit doing it. But, uh, you know what? Everything comes around full circle and I'm almost concerned we're about to start seeing stupid stuff be done like this again. Because for some reason this community just can't help but follow these crazy trends and they always come around. I mean, we go back and forth between... Uh, ketogenic diets become the best way to lose body fat in the whole training world. Then if it, if it fits your macros and flexible dieting, it was called flexible dieting before. <clears throat> and then it came around now when it was rebranded again, it was called uh, if it fits your macros. The same concept, but the ketogenic diets and low carb diets come back into vogue. High carb diets, low fat diets go into vogue. Um, high protein, moderate carb, it just goes in cycles and you'll see that it gets followed in all the, the pro circles and bodybuilding, it gets followed by, you're going to start seeing the YouTubers follow these trends again. Uh, but every now and then we start hitting up on these really, really dangerous trends. And now that we're seeing multiple channels out there saying, hey, you know, abusing gear is okay. Alright, you got this guy called Enhanced Athlete. We've got uh, Rich Piana got Boston Lloyd. We've got all of these people promoting certain ideas. Now you start combining that, you start combining that with what? The whole ketogenic diet thing along with the importance of an anabolic window and it's a recipe for this to come back into style and I want to warn people that when this comes back um, people really need to be outspoken against this because it's dangerous, it's stupid, and it doesn't even work. I mean, the idea that just staying in ketosis all the time is going to make you lose body fat isn't based upon uh, science. It's not based upon reality. Uh, you know, you can gain body fat in ketosis. You could be on a deep ketogenic diet, and if you overeat enough, you'll gain body fat. Plenty of people, because they uh, don't even follow those diets, right? The whole diet, the idea of those diets and ketosis is that they suppress your appetite so you eat less food. People try to find ways around it all the time to make their food more delicious. Uh, and, you know, or eat excessive amounts of cheese and other stuff. And then even the obese people, their weight loss stalls on these sort of diets. They don't lose any more weight. They just sit there. Uh, because they're no longer in a calorie deficit. And you see that all the time. Uh, but... These sort of trends, you know, they, they come along and I'm almost like predicting we're going to start seeing this one again because it got so popular for about a year or two and then it died back out. Fortunately, it died back out. I don't know if it killed anybody, but I know a lot of guys are reporting, hey, this is, this is really becoming problematic. I'm not doing this anymore. Uh, but again, this is a sort of nonsense you see in this, the training world of the risk-taking behavior that people are willing to undertake for some small perceived edge in their physique or their muscle mass or their body composition. Uh, you know, it's just crazy. Instead of just following a basic diet and putting in some hard basic work, everyone looks for little shortcuts. Shortcuts that oftentimes are dangerous. Uh, they could kill you or just flat don't work. Um, you know, and they always come in little trends and in patterns and you see them here, you see them there. Uh, and I'm really hoping we don't see this one pop back up, but I just feel like my gut instinct tells me I'm gonna, we're going to start seeing this one again. And it's, again, absurdly dangerous. 
um, and I really hope that we don't. But if we do, um, I would love if people would report to me, hey, I'm seeing this on forums again. Maybe we could speak out against it. And people say, no, this needs to be shut down. Just like the whole DNP thing. You see people that were promoting DNP and a bunch of even I and other people even who uh, promote gear saying, no, 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 don't use DNP. Uh, don't do this. It's dangerous. It kills people every year. Like in the United Kingdom, when it had gotten popular again for a while, uh, it was killing six people per year in the UK, just that one country. Uh, so again, these trends um, need to be squashed when it's really dangerous stuff and it's important for us to know about them, be educated about them and say, hey, wait a minute, no, don't do this, this is dumb. Alright guys, but that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it's been informative and I will talk to you guys next time.